Yo, what's up, sports bettors? I got a crazy parlay, juicy payout for today. Six picks to turn like 15 bucks into almost 4K. So whoever said you can't make money betting on parlays, that's absolute BS. Here's my parlay results so far in 2023. We're gonna go through the math behind parlays, tons of different things in this video. Let's get to it. Yo, so I'm actually going to have two parlays in this video, and we're going to start out looking at the Odds Jam Positive Expected Value Tool. So I've explained this before, but you know, in these videos, I just give out what I'm putting my own money on, what I'm putting my own personal money on, whether that's prize picks, wherever I'm finding value. So a new sports book I started to bet on and have pretty good success on is right here. It's called Fliff. And essentially, this is a new sports book. You know, you only have to be 18 plus to sign up, which is pretty interesting. And most importantly, there's a lot of profitable bets on it. So the first play I'm on is right here. You just want to take the bet in bold and in green when you're using the positive EV tool. So LeBron under 26 and a half points at minus 115, right? So what you're going to notice is every sports book, right? All these other data points, all these other sports books, pinnacle, sharpest bookmaker in the world, they all have LeBron's under around like minus 135, minus 140 odds. We're getting minus 115 on Fliff. So Fliff is a pretty clear line discrepancy, right? Like they're giving us this at minus 115 when all the other bookmakers in the market are pricing this closer to minus 140. So I say this all the time, but like, as a sharp better, you know, if you're an investor, you're hunting through the market, you're looking for value. As a sports better, it's no different, right? You're hunting through the tens of thousands of odds on each sports book, and you're trying to find those few rare betting opportunities where the sports book is slipping up and offering too much value. And we can see right here, Fliff is giving us way too much value on this under at minus 115. Literally every other sports book, you know, has this around minus 140. So what we can do is if you take Pinnacle's you know, market, so they have the under all the way down at minus 141, is you can use a no VIG odds calculator to strip out the VIG. So according to Pinnacle, they have the under at minus 141, they have the over at plus 108. So if you use a VIG removal calculator or a fair odds calculator, you're gonna see what the VIG stripped out According to Pinnacle's market, the market on the sharpest bookmaker, this under should be priced at minus 122, right? So the sharpest sports book in the world has the no vig odds or the true odds, fair odds, however you want to think about it, no juice odds. Once you strip out the vig, right? So this is a market with a 33 cent spread. So we want to remove the spread, remove the vig, and you're going to see the fair price on the under is minus 121.7. We're getting minus 115 on Fliff. So whenever you're placing bets, you're always going to be getting better value, right? You're going to be getting better odds than the Novig odds, right? But anyways, that's a lot to say. On the Odds Jam Positive EV tool, you'll see plays for a bunch of different sports books. Here you can see a play on De'Aaron Fox. That's on prize picks, right? So I'm not doing prize picks in this video, but this would be a profitable play to include on prize picks. So the more sports books you have, the more profitable betting opportunities you're going to have available to you right? Sometimes there's more value on prize picks in a day. Sometimes there's more value on Fliff. I'm just talking about Fliff in these videos because I've been able to find pretty good value on it recently. So you can see Keegan Murray under 11 and a half points, Dustin May under five and a half strikeouts. So essentially Odds Jam is just scanning, you know, let's say you use, I, I think I have seven sports books selected. So out of those seven sports books combined, that's hundreds, you know, that's probably like a hundred thousand odds that Odds Jam is scanning. And it's just trying to point out those rare few betting opportunities where sports books are slipping up. And you can see right now a lot of value on Flip. So another play I went with, just as an example, is going to be right here. Over nine runs in Phillies Astros. We're getting plus 190 on Fliff. No other buck better than plus 170. Pinnacle has this all the way down at plus 168. So if we use a vague removal calculator, they had the over at plus 168. Um, back here, they have the over at plus 168, the under at minus 190. So you strip out the VIG, the true odds, the fair odds on the over is plus 175.59. We're getting plus 190 on Fliff. So we're getting better odds than the fair odds, right? You're always getting more value, better odds than the fair odds. So those are some of the first plays I went with. I'll flip over. I'll show you my parlays on Fliff. But again, just using the positive EV tool to find plays with an edge that are profitable in a parlay, right? If all of your plays have an edge, right? If all of your bets are profitable, then your parlay is going to be profitable. So it really is that simple. So hopefully this video was helpful. Let's make money. Yo, so here you can see my parlay on Fliff. Six picks to turn 15 bucks into roughly 4.2K. I say this a lot. 
You never know which book is going to be offering value on a given day. Sometimes there's more profitable bets on FanDuel. Sometimes it's DraftKings, prize picks, whatever, right? Because all these books set lines independently, more sports books ultimately means more profitable betting opportunities for you. So let's make some money today.